Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, glad you guys could drop in here with the Mighty Gator Unleashed, formerly known as the Mighty Roaring Pigeon 71. Um, hit the Holy Grail in ammo today. Uh, went to work this morning and uh, they sent me to Walmart. I, I was back there removing three quarter by 10 and a half inch studs out of a 992 G wheel unit. And they came over and all of a sudden they said, Gator, can you run over to uh, Walmart and get us the stuff to make taco soup. And I said, well, yeah, I mean, if that's what you want me to do, you're paying me. I said, yeah, I'd be glad to go. So they put me in a 2023 Duramax Chevy four-door Z71 truck, gave me a company credit card, sent me over to Walmart. This was not much after 7 o'clock. Um, and Walmart don't open at seven until, until 7 o'clock here. Um, and I guess that's when they put their ammo out. <clears throat> so I went in this morning. The first thing I saw, I went straight to the ammo. You know, taco soup's important. Not as important as ammo. First thing I ran into, hadn't seen a box, I know it'd been three or four years. Simply, there has not been a box of this anywhere. Up until the last six months or so, I looked several times a week, morning and evening at Walmart. Even the gun stores, I have seen no 30-30 ammo whatsoever, none, zilch, zero. Can't stress how much. Um, but anyway, this is 170 grain. This was 26, uh, let's see, 26.84. Um, so I got this one box of this. They had three boxes, and I was kind of considering getting two boxes of it because they don't have anything up about any limits or anything. But then I looked, and lo and behold, I don't know if you can even read that. I've kind of redone my amazing high-tech studio here, and the lighting's not very good. They had 410 gauge, uh, they, they had 410 shotgun shells. So I was just stunned. Uh, they only had three boxes left. This was the last box of the Federal, and they had two boxes of Winchester White Box. They was 13, this was 1340. Let's see here. We like to be exact here. This was 1387. Or is that a nine? That's eight. 1387 at London, Kentucky, Walmart. And the guy at the counter, I got my two boxes and went over there. This totaled, those two boxes right there totaled 4315. Um, but the guy at the counter, who I've, he used to work, my mom used to work there. He knows her. She's retired for several years. But anyhow, I've talked to him many, many times over the past few years. He was telling me about a guy came in this morning, and evidently they'd got six boxes total of 410 shotgun shells. And the first guy there at 7 o'clock was probably a flea marketer. He wanted to buy all six boxes. He wouldn't sell him but one box. And he said the guy went on to cuss him and, and just raise the hell with him. And he just finally put his ass out of there and told him he, he could do whatever he wanted to, call in, whoever, whatever he wanted to do, but he wasn't going to be talked to like that. And I don't blame him. Uh, now, I got nothing against entrepreneurs. I got nothing against ambitious people making making a living. But it is a little frustrating when you work. You have to be to work at, uh, I, I'm at work every morning before 6 o'clock, sometimes before 5.30. Um, and I don't leave work until always after 5 in the evenings. Um, Saturday mornings, used to every Saturday morning I'd be at Walmart as soon as the door opened. Uh, but I've backed off on that. Um, but it is frustrating when these guys go and they just buy everything they got on the shelves at Walmart. That's why they had those limits up there for a long time. And those signs aren't up about limits, but evidently this guy, which I'm, I'm glad he didn't let that guy get all the ammo. Um, I just am, uh, you know. But it is a little bit of a fuzzy area, like I said. But regardless, I was tickled to death. I got a box of 410 and a box of 3030, guys. I mean, I, I just hadn't seen it in so long. I hadn't seen 30-06. I've done a video on it here not long ago. I hadn't seen a box of 30 out 6 ammo at Walmart in years. And I got two boxes of it the other day, and they've had it. They had it this morning. A different brand, though. It wasn't as good as what I got. I got two good boxes of Federal. Uh, but, yeah, this 3030, man, this is some good-looking ammo. PowerPoint, good-looking ammo. I've never I've never shot this type of ammo. But I'm sure it'll be just fine. I'm sure that it'll be just fine. But, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um Probably going to do another video here in a little bit. This this State of the Union coming up tonight, you know, this is going to be, in my opinion, this is going to be the lying fest of all time. Um, it's going to be a situation where we're going to see Joe Biden 
uh, talk about, well, probably he's not even going to talk about all the problems facing our country. Uh, he's probably not even going to talk about the decline in our way of life that we've experienced since January of 2021. Um, but he, I, actually, that's the route he'll take, I'm sure. Uh, he'll be talking about these jobs report and unemployment stuff that uh, is in no way a credit to anything he's done. Nothing whatsoever. You know, I mean, they killed all the jobs with COVID and restrictions and mandates. Um, and now all that stuff is fading. And these people that have been struggling are getting back to work and get some income again. Um, and that's a reflection of, of these numbers. But uh, they're, they're not going to talk about that. They're not going to tell the truth about that. If they was to touch on any of the problems that our country is facing, such as the southern border, the endless countries in the world that's on the brink of war, um, our endless funding of the war in Ukraine. If there was a touch on any of this, it's not none going to be Biden's fault. Even though he reversed on day one, he reversed literally 15 Trump policies, l literally done a complete 180 on like 15 Trump policies, um, especially pertaining to the southern border, uh, which has led to most of our problems uh, that we've got as far as in our country. Um, it's just almost impossible to put a number on the dollars that's costing us, uh, not to mention other problems um, with drugs and crime and things of that nature. Uh, but regardless, another video we'll talk about that, guys. Ammo, it's a floating around there a little bit. If you get out, you can find some. Uh, now, this 14, I don't think I mentioned, this was eight shot. That's all they had. Uh, they had the, the white box was nine shot. I'd rather have had eight. Uh, but I don't shoot 14 much anyway. Um, but it is fun to plink around with here and there. But guys, everybody have a great uh, evening, a great week. Oh, pray for this poor old nation and this poor world we're living in. I don't think, I think it's reached the point of no return with the greed and the corruption. Um, not only in the United States government, but really all governments in the whole world. It's just, they've all kind of got in cahoots together, I think. My opinion, this is my opinion, could be wrong, could be wrong. They all might be on their hands and knees praying to God right now. They all might be total saints. They might all take their fancy suits and stuff off, and they might actually be wings sprout. They may be angels, but in my opinion, they're a bad bunch. Regardless, pray for our nation, pray for our world, um, and everybody have a great evening and a great week, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.